Today on Trisha, a special Trisha Uncut. I had a Thanksgiving dinner and it turned into an all broke. They were sisters at war. You think she slept with I your husband? I know she did. He said it. Was he the kind of guy who would sleep yes, around? Yes, he was the kind of guy to sleep around. She's accused of being good, taking her husband to Kansas sweetie, City sweetie, because his mother was up. dying. Shut up. And there was so much drama, so much fighting. Tell oh, the truth, next. Tell the truth. I need his mother. Was I just want to tell you. There wasn't enough time to show this entire story. Oh, Sit down. down. Sit down. Until today. Everything that she has said has been a lie. Hey. Can, can I say something? No, you can't. You can't. On this episode, you will see the raw, uncut version of a Trisha show that still has people talking. His mom was already sent you. His mom was already sent you. She was not. Yo, she was not. Will you see the lost footage from what happened right here on our set? Okay. All I want is for Nina to allow the kids to have a relationship. No. I don't want to talk to your kids if you don't want involved. me to talk to them. And I'm I don't good. have to talk to I'm them. Good. You'll see the way drama unfolded in the hallways of our studio. Yo, you don't understand. Uh, you do. I listen, have, listen, I'm listen, 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 would you, would you like to just listen for a minute? A special Trisha Uncut starts right now. sister Nina have not seen or spoken to each other in over four years now they've been feuding uh, for over a decade this is all because Nadia is accused of having sex with Nina's husband Aniba but there's a twist recently Aniba passed away and Nina claims that before he took his last breath he confessed to sleeping with Nadia Right, these bitter accusations have torn this family apart and they've come here today to uncover the truth. So, Nadia, how do you feel when you hear these accusations? I'm very angry yeah. because it is so untruthful um, for her to even think that I would be the person to drive a knife in her back is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She's my oldest sister, someone I look up to. So to hurt her, what do I gain? You wouldn't do that? No, ma'am. Now, you're saying you two haven't seen each other for four years, so how have you heard about these accusations? Uh, Facebook. Don't we love modern technology? What? Yes, Facebook. Facebook. She, she put on Facebook that you had been sleeping with her, her late husband? Yes, Facebook. So why would she say this if it's not true? Um, you two honestly, get, not get along, obviously. We've never gotten along since we were children. Nina and I really have never had a relationship. So you're not close, and then suddenly you start hearing these rumors that you well, slept with her the later. The rumors started um, <laughs> actually after I accused her of sleeping with my husband. Oh. Yes, that's when those rumors started. Do you really, hang on, do you really think your sister slept with your husband? Uh, yes, I do. Do you have evidence? I don't have evidence because if I had evidence, I would be in jail and he would be dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have evidence. I'm, I'm not agreeing to any of that, but, right. but what makes you think that happened? Um, well, uh, a, a week before I suspected it with my ex-husband, um, Nina had asked me to come over and look at her because um, she felt like she had some kind of an STD. So we lived in the same apartment complex. I went to my sister's home. I looked at her cookies, and um, I was like, yeah, baby girl, that's an STD. Well, within Whoa. a matter of, yes, within a matter of a week, I was doing laundry, and Tidy Whitey's told it all for me. Your husband's underwear showed signs of the same STD. Mm. So at that point, that's when I started accusing Nina. I physically went around to her home and I put my hands on her because this is my husband, the children of yeah. my, my, my children's father. And so you, you do, are... you, hang on. So you're thinking because of that, mm -hmm. payback mm -hmm. was for her to spread these untrue, in yes. your words, untrue rumors about you sleeping yes. with her later. Because husband. I believe Nina's the reason that I'm not married right now today. Don't get me wrong. My ex-husband is my best friend. I have nothing negative to say about him. Yeah. He is my best friend. You are my best friend and I appreciate you. But I am really, really, really believing something happened. 
I believe it with my heart of hearts. And I believe if it didn't happen, we would still be married right now today. Because I love the man that you are. I love the father that you are to our children. I thank you for always being there for me. But I need to know what happened. And that is why we are not married. I get you to stand up. You would really sleep with her sister? No. Oh. No, I would not. So why does she think you did? I don't know, because we was we had a lot of problems. We argued a lot all the time. Yeah. We fought all the time. I mean, it was like night and day. Uh, but, but to sleep with her sister, I got better morals. I was raised by her. So how has this affected the rest of the family then? Because you've got children, uh, Nina's got children, the cousins, do they get together? What, what's going on? There you are with your, your cute kids. I'm sorry. No. I love my sisters. My mother raised three of us on her own. And mm. mama, you did a good job. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But... Yeah. <laughs> I hate the fact that my mom and my sister Nicole have to be torn between me and Nina. Who's truthful? Who's lying? You know, it's unfair. I haven't seen my niece and my nephews in years. So Our children are just months apart. Nina and I, his oldest children, are four months apart. Our second children are seven months apart. We were practically pregnant together. We lived, you know, together multiple times. We lived in, you know, the, the north side together. We lived in the same apartments together. But you're saying since these rumors, everything has just fallen apart between you and your mom and your other sister, Nikki, who are in the audience. They're, they're, they're stuck in the middle. I'm a black sheep. So I've never really had a... You've never a, fit in? No, I've never fit into my yeah. family. Yeah. I'm a black sheep. I am definitely that child. Um, don't think that it was ever done intentionally. I feel like at the end of the day, I've always been a disappointment to my mother. Um, really? I feel like, yes, I do. Your I feel mom's, like your mom's sitting right here. Is that true, Denise? No. No. Mm -hmm. no. Do you know where these rumors have come from? Do you believe them? No, because I love all three of my children. I raised them by myself. I tried my best to teach them all love and respect for each other. And it's and, and you it, can't it's, believe it's come to this. And I can't believe that it's come to this point. I love Nadia, I love Nikki, I love Nadia. And I you mean, don't think you, you don't think they would sleep with each other's husbands? I don't want to believe that. No. <laughs> I don't I think I raised them better than that. I would love to believe that I did. You hope so. Yeah. You know, look at look at this is your other sister, this is Nikki. You're upset already. You, yes, why? Yes. What, what's this doing? Do you ever get together as a family? No. When's the last time you got together as a family? Probably three years ago when I had a Thanksgiving dinner and it turned into an all-out brawl between them, my father, all of them, and within an hour of dinner, they all left. So you can never even get together as a family? No, I had to pick and choose who I was going to have in my wedding when I got married the first oh. time because... Them two didn't get along. Then none of us were getting along, so I had to pick and choose. And I could only have wedding. one of Whether my sisters. Whether I was a part of your wedding or not, you didn't even call the and wedding. invite me. So, Nadia is the whole, everybody hates her. Everybody's <laughs> jealous of her. It's always been a constant Do you problem. believe your sister slept with each other's husbands? <laughs> I don't know who to believe. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be real. I don't know who to believe. I would hope to think that neither one of them would do that. Really? Being that my mother raised us to be different and to be ladies, and I would hope that we would carry on that tradition to our children, but unfortunately, it's not been that way. Okay. Up next. I want my sister Nadia to prove to me that she didn't sit with my husband. I don't understand that. When you call me at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning talking about your abusive relationship, I'm there for you. And later. You are not I'm telling the a special Trisha Uncut. A special Trisha Uncut. Today on Trisha. For her to even think that I would be the person to drive a knife in her back is ridiculous. She's my oldest sister, someone I look up to. So to hurt her, what do I gain? You wouldn't do that? No, ma'am. The right. rumors started um, <laughs> actually after I accused her of sleeping with my husband. Do you really think your sister slept with your husband? Uh, yes, I do. You would really sleep with her sister? No. 
Oh. No, I would not. <laughs> I hate the fact that my mom and my sister Nicole will have to be torn between me and Nina. Who's truthful? Who's lying? No. You don't think they would sleep with each other's husbands? I don't want to believe that. No. What if the lie detector test did come back and confirm your worst fears? That your sister did, in fact, sleep with Mike, your, 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 your ex? I don't care if it came back that she did because when I divorced Mike, I divorced all those issues that came with that relationship. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters to me at this point in life yeah. is how we raise our children. That's the only thing that matters. So you're saying whether or you, not you they wouldn't did. get closer with your sister if it comes back you know, I don't untrue. care if Nina and I have a relationship after these results come out today. I don't care. We don't never have a relationship on this side of God's green earth because we are grown. It doesn't matter to me. She don't pay my bills and her opinion don't matter at all. Everybody's got one, so keep it. Only thing that matters is our children. We are already dysfunctional and, uh, and, and, and barely put together. So you're saying whatever the results are, you want that the cousins all get I together. I just want and the kids to continue their relationship. Where do you think the kids are learning about relationships? From us. Yeah. Which is why, yeah. which is why I continue to try to be there for my sister, which is why I don't understand why I would stab her in her back. Okay. I don't understand that. When you call me at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning talking about your abusive relationship, I'm there for you. Anyway, I can be there for you. Whether it's to come live with me in Texas, whether it's to come stay with me in Oklahoma, it doesn't matter. So I'm there for her. After everything you feel you've done for her, you even, feel she stabbed you in the back. Even just three months ago, when I was in a bad situation, three months ago, mm -hmm. I, I called Nina because she was the closest relative to me, to where I was. And I told her what was going on. She broke down on the phone with me, concerned, as siblings should be. And I said to her, you know what? I'm leaving this weekend, and I'm coming to Pennsylvania to get you and the kids. Are you coming with me? But you didn't go. I left. She stayed. Okay. Well, let's, let's hear the other side of the story, because we all know there are two sides to every story. And I think it's time <laughs> we heard what Nina has to say. Have a look at this. My name is Nina, and I'm here because um, I want my sister Nadia to prove to me that she didn't sleep with my husband. And this all started like 15 years ago, and I noticed some very inappropriate behavior between the two of them. After 15 years of rumors and suspicion, Nina's husband admitted on his deathbed to having an affair with her sister Nadia. I'm curious to know why she waited 15 years and why she waited till he passed away to do this. If you were so interested in clearing your name and getting this all out of the water, we could have did this while he was alive. So why wait 15 years and wait till he dies to do this now? The feud between Nina and Nadia has affected the entire family. I want my kids to be close with their cousins, but at the same hand, it's like, why would I want them to be close with an aunt that they know is a liar? All I want to know is whether she slept with him or not. As far as her and I mending our relationship, I'm cool on it. Once this test result comes out and I get the answers that I need and Nadia gets the answers that she needs, we have nothing else to talk about. There needs to be nothing. There's, it's done, it's over. We've passed the point of no return. Well, Nina's been listening backstage, and when we come back, she'll confront Nadia for the first time in four years. We'll also reveal the results of both sisters' lie detector tests. Coming up. Nadia and Nina talk to each other for the first time in four years. You are not telling the story. Tell the truth, Nick. Tell the truth. Nadia, I never want to watch I just want to If you want to call that talking, sit down. Sit down. And later. Everything that she has said has been a lie, and I'm okay with that because she's always lied. A special Trisha Uncut. Special Trisha Uncut. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to a very upset Nadia. She's accused of sleeping with her sister, Nina's recently deceased husband. Now, she in turn is accusing Nina of sleeping with her husband. Well, this family mystery has got so out of hand, Nadia and Nina haven't seen or talked to each other in over four years. So are you ready to see your sister? No. 
When you say no, what do you mean? You want to get this sorted out? I don't need to see it or sort it. If you want your children to learn from you, you need to start changing things. <laughs> At least have a conversation. You hear what I'm saying? OK. Please welcome Nina. Okay. I said all the problems you need to say. You need to sit here and you need not say nothing else and let me talk. First of all, you've got nothing to go off of. This black sheep thing that you done perpetuated for many years, you put yourself in it when you walked out that door at 14, cussing everybody out the steps down the way like you was grown. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to hear it. And as far as me and Mike sleeping together, one time that man came out of his mouth and said something out of pocket. One time. Oh, and I said something. I said something out of pocket One to time you? this... He was Is drunk. that what you're saying? He was drunk, and that's what okay. I said to him. Mike, okay. he said one thing. What did he all say? Yes, he was drunk. What did he say? Could you please tell me what was said? It was something in the, it was something on the lines of, do you mind if he was like, you look do you really pretty too? Oh, you do too. Thank you. He was like, he, no, I Nick, not you. Don't I, don't no, care no, no, no. I don't. No, I'm I good. I'm you good. Don't care. It was something on the lines of, can I? No, and I was like, I'm holding my knees, and I said, Mike, you drunk, keep it moving. The only thing that was ever said, the only time we're downstairs in the parking lot in front of my apartment, and I'm holding my knees. That's the only time anything was ever said. And after that statement was made, yeah. I went to my father and I was like, you know what? I was like, I know he didn't mean it. I was like, but he was drunk. I was like, so should I say something? No, leave it alone, write it in a letter, and put it down. She failed to mention that she came back in town with my husband all up in my face having his back. You failed to mention the fact that you and I uh, need Who else did we go out of town with? You was it just me and him? him you or was it me you didn't go to Kansas and call me like, I went to Kansas with my who else? And who else? I don't know who else. I was there with my husband. I was there with No, that was there with What's your that I know that much. Nina, no, because you Nina, know what? You perpetuate this whole Nina, thing. you are not well, telling the whole Tell the truth, Nick. Tell the whole story. Hey, 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 for real, hey, tell the truth. Hey, tell the whole hey, story. What story? Why did this happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this happen? happen? Hey, you sit over there. You Where sit over there. Where did this happen? I would okay. like to know. All right. I need a mother word. I just want to know. I need a mother word. Say, I'm dying. Stop it. Stop it. Because all we, I want to show both of you. I am hoping our director can get to it. I want to show both of you what your children are yes, learning. Yeah. Oh. Nina, Nina. Yo, you don't understand. I do. I listen, have, listen, I'm listen, 100 listen, real. listen. Can, would you would you like to just listen for a minute? Yes, I will listen. Conflict resolution means hearing the conflict. And oh boy, we just heard that. Mm -hmm. To resolve it, it involves listening and speaking. Now, if you don't want to sort anything out, then why be here? No, I, want... I hear what you say, but the only way I can hear what's going on is one person speaks at a time. It's called a conversation. Okay, well, I want to, I want to clarify something. All right. My husband's mother did not die until I was already okay. in Jersey in 2002, right. Nadia. Listen, listen, so listen. stop the hey, lying. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get stuck on one point, you think she slept with I your husband? I know she did. He said it. Was he the kind of guy who would sleep yes. around? Yes. He was the kind of guy to sleep around. Okay. Right, yes. which is why All I right, didn't sleep on, with him because y'all were sleeping with everybody. Now I've explained to her. Every man if this that your kicks off have, again, you have slept with. If this kicks off again, I can't give you the results. Okay. Okay. You hear what I say? Yes, I did. Can you come out here and both of you I don't talk? I them together. 
I don't want them to. I want them to see something. No. I want no, them to see please. something that's very important. This is going to be on national television. Yeah, and I want them to sort this out. Uh, Mom, I'm going to act like a lady. I promise I won't blow up no more. If it gets to that point, if I will walk that, off. I no, raised if it gets to that you guys I know you did, this. Mom. I promise you I will. Do you I have will. to put up with this all the time? All yes, the time. This is why. How do you have family holidays? We don't. I know. I, I'm don't. planning a trip to Disney World for everybody. I've been working my butt off so that I can take everybody to Disney World, all seven grandchildren and all three daughters. And how's now, that going to happen? How's that going to happen? Exactly. How is that going to happen? <laughs> it's never time. going to happen. All right. I'm I time. want both of them to see something. Mom, you come out and sit come with on, me. Okay. okay. I apologize. Coming up. Everything that she has said has been a lie. I am tired. My mother is tired. This tired this man has me. died. These kids need Thank their you. family and nobody is thinking about these kids. Thank you. And later, the lie detector results. Did you have any type of sexual contact with your sister's husband, Aniba? A special Trisha Uncut. A special Trisha Uncut. Aniba's mother Today on Trisha. My name is Nina, and I'm here because um, I want my sister Nadia to prove to me that she didn't sleep with my husband. Her, her, what do I gain? You wouldn't do that? No, ma'am. Rumors was started, um, <laughs> actually, after I accused her of sleeping with my husband. Do you really think your sister slept with your husband? Uh, yes, I do. You would really sleep with her sister? No. Oh. No, I would not. <laughs> I hate the fact that my mom and my sister Nicole have to be torn between me and Nina. Who's truthful? Who's lying? No. You don't think they would sleep with each other's husbands? I don't want to believe that. No. You've got nothing to go off of. She failed to mention that she came back in town <laughs> with my husband all up in my face having his back. My neighbor's mother was sick. I just want to say that my mother was sick. Yes, she was not. She was not being gassed out. I want to show both of you what your children are learning. You think she slept with I your husband? I know she did. He said it. I want both of them to see something. Mum, you come out and sit come with on. me. Nina, I want you to sit here. Hopefully, my director's got this. Mum, I'll get you to sit back in your seat. I want you to Thank see, you. and I'm hoping... Have we got that on screen? Can we play that back? This is, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. All I want is the result. OK, just hang on. Just else. keep watching. Just keep watching. This is what happens when you have to have somebody, when you have to give a slight no, perpetuate a lie. This is the this is the result no, when no, you have to do that. I want you to what why are you talking and not watching what you I'm are watching like? because we do look like a bunch of fools, but this is the behavior okay. when somebody's been lying. So this for so behavior long. has to stop. You don't have to agree. You hear what I'm saying? Can, can I say no, something? No, no, you can't. You can't. You can't say something. I'm saying something at the moment. And why I'm saying, look, you can have disagreements. Mm -hmm. OK? But you need to do it in a way that one person speaks and the other person listens. From what I heard was scream, 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 scream. I don't know what's going on. Nobody here knows what's going on. She got her chance to talk. I'd like to talk. OK. So, can we hear her? Yes, and then when she's finished, yes, we'll go to you. It's called a conversation. Let's start. So what do you want to say? That no. everything that she has said has been a lie. And I'm OK with that because she's always lied. You this think lie she slept with... I know she did. He's not going to tell me that we did it to get back at you for what you did to me unless he really thought and she really thought I did something. This okay. all happened after the fact. This whole, I slept with Mike. Oh, I slept with so Mike. So you think it was payback? This is this payback for something that she done formulated in her head that okay. did never happen. All right. So, what do you want to say? Did, you've had your say here. What, anything you want to say? You what know, do you she probably is right about the last part of that statement. I probably did formulate the fact that my husband was sleeping around and um, I had very good reason at the time to believe that he was sleeping around. The STD thing with me is what did not make sense, okay? How do you have it one week, and then I go to do laundry the very next week, and it's in his drawers? Like, it just doesn't make that? any Can sense. I say something right. to that? Can I say yep. You know what I love she's doing? She's mixing incidents. I was pregnant with my second son, and I found out my husband was cheating on me when I got some test results back from the hospital. I did have two STDs that my husband gave me when I was pregnant with ah. my second son, and we were staying on the. So you're saying it had nothing to do? Had nothing, nothing to do? Nothing to do. And okay. as far as looking at my cookies, all she did was call the hospital back when they sent me home. Sent me, um, said I needed to get my results. She called for me because so I she didn't did not actually come around no. your house and look. No, at she okay. didn't. And as far right. as me giving him some. What did I give you, honey? She said it was crabs. I gave you crabs. Did you ever have crabs? 
I don't even remember. Thank you. you okay, don't I just wanted to know I what I gave you since I'm just since I'm the remember. biggest hoe right. and I'm sleeping with this one and giving okay. you stuff. I just wanted to okay. know. Okay, let's. I've curious. never been to the doctor and got an STD, syphilis, AIDS, gonorrhea, none of that. But as far no. as you can get okay. crabs by sitting on a toilet. All right. So. When the law, if the law, I don't know who's telling the truth and who isn't, just as your sister Nikki doesn't. Oh, the, say let me just, let me, wait, wait, wait. First if, of all. if the lie detector test, if you can be quiet long enough for me to read the results, if it comes back that your sister is, has, I'm playing devil's advocate here, has slept with your ex, then what? It ain't gonna change what's already been broken. What it's if she has it? I apologize, I'm gonna still keep it moving. And for you, if it comes back that your suspicions are true, then you say it doesn't make any difference, you just want the cousins to get along. That's all I want. Okay. It's, it's if the it kids comes back that, that your suspicions no, are not too. true, then what? I'm good on that too. Then what, what? Nothing. Ain't nothing gonna change. Oh, so why are we here? You ask her, she's the one that I wanted to wait till my husband passed away okay. to clear her name. Oh. She had to wait till he was dead in the ground and buried okay. so she could clear her no, name. She I couldn't do it while he was on that stuff uh, on Facebook right. okay. to clear my name. On. Because quite honestly, no there clear. has been nothing mentioned about this incident, I think, since grandma passed almost 10 years ago. Nina ain't gonna accuse me and I haven't accused Nina. This topic has not come up. As a matter of fact, just four to five months ago, Nina and I were talking on the telephone yeah, we and on you regular were, were. and even in telephone conversations mm -hmm. I never brought it up and you she know never what brought happened, it up Trish? it wasn't until you know what well, 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 okay, please finish, finish. Right? Okay, I'm answering finish. your question it did not come up again until oh. Aniba passed because she put it on Facebook please give me the message did you, did you somebody no I put it in her message I message her that Aniba okay. told me. Right. And right. you right. call right. some okay. one of our mutual friends. Our mutual to the friends said the same. Yo, our mutual friends said the same thing about yeah. you. Hang on, Nikki wants to say something. This is this is all the time. This what is, are y'all seeing? This, this is every day when they are with each other. I am tired. My mother is tired. This tired this man too. has died. These kids need Thank their you. family, and nobody is thinking about these kids. Thank you. And any of them. Thank you. No, she's thinking about herself. All right. Because this was done for me. He said what he needed to say, and I was done. No. Nadia and Nina are both taken lie detector tests and our lie detector administrator Tim Acosta is here with the answers. Tim. <laughs> Hi Tim. Here's how it goes. I'm just reading the questions. Tim has what the lie detector uh, answers have told us. Okay, so here we go. Nina, we asked you, have you ever hit on your sister's husband Mike? No. You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined... Up next, the lie detector results. That's Did you have anything. any type of sexual contact with your sister's husband, Aniba? Can this raging family stop yelling long enough to hear them? Can you shut up? Yes. I'm please. over it. Shut up. Move on. Okay. So what? We all have the same yeah. upbringing. Move on. And later, the unbelievable update. Hi, Trisha. It's Nina. A special Trisha Uncut. Special Trisha Uncut. For Aniba's mother was Today on Trisha. My name is Nina, and I'm here because um, I want my sister Nadia to prove to me that she didn't sleep with my husband. Really think your sister slept with your husband? Uh, yes, I did. You think she slept with I your husband? I know she did. He said it. If it comes back that your sister slept with your ex, then what? It ain't gonna change what's already been broken. And for you? Then what, what? Nothing. Nadia and Nina have both taken lie detector tests and our lie detector administrator, Tim Acosta, is here with the answers. Tim? <laughs> so here we go. Now, Nina, we asked you, are you jealous of your sister? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Okay. We asked you, are you jealous of your sister, Nina? And you said, no. Tim? The lie detector determined that that was a lie. You know what, can I answer that? I am. It's the type of relationship that Nina has with my mother. I want that same thing, that same, that same okay. approval and love and support that you give her. That's what I want from you. OK, OK, let's keep so going. So in that let's regard, then I guess I would be jealous let's because I don't have on. a relationship whoa, 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 with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Let's, let's keep going. Yes. Let's keep going. And just remember, when we point a finger, there are three fingers pointing back right. at us. We asked you, have you ever hit on your sister's husband, Mike? No. You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that that was not truthful. Really? Oh. 
Nadia, we asked you, have you ever hit on your sister's husband, Aniba? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that that was not truthful. What? Nina, we asked you, did you have any type of sexual contact, that's any type of sexual contact, wow. with your sister's husband, Mike? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that that was truthful. Thank you. Thank you. Now the truth is oh, out of the Let's keep going. Let's see how epic this is going to be. Because you about to get your crap blown Nadia. up in your face. Nadia, we asked you, did you no, have... I was going to say I was untruthful. Did I was untruthful about everything. Did you have any type of sexual contact with your sister's husband, Aniba? Untruthful, you said right? no. You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that that was truthful. Thank you. Did you make up these accusations about Nadia cheating with your husband to sabotage her relationship with the family? You said no. The lie detector show. Not to the lie detector determined that that was not truthful. So, let me tell I, you. You know what? I needed let, a cigarette and I needed to move. So, if that was the case, then fine. Because I don't lie on Nadia. I ain't well, never well, lied. I'm good with it. We know we didn't sleep with each other's well, husband, well, right? And that's all if I'm, I'm jealous about. of you, listen to me. Nadia, Can I, I don't say care. this to you, Nina, no, please? No, I don't If care. I'm jealous, it's because of the fact that, like I've said earlier, whether you want to listen to it or not, believe it or not, I, you, Mom, I left home your house at 14, and I ain't look back. I'm 32, and I ain't look back. I did leave your home because you know and I know that our relationship ain't been yeah, none exactly. for a long I'm time. Done. And okay. I've always told okay. you, I Nikki, have always told Nikki, you what? that you are Nina's pride mom. and joy, and I feel like you should give me the same, and you don't. Nadia, All you gave Nadia, me was Nadia. I'm Nadia. daughter. May I speak? Yes. yes. Let, let, let it, May I speak? speak? Yeah. First of all, I raised them all the same. Mm -hmm. Second of all, no, I love them all equally. No, Why would she Third say that? Third of all, no, I love the way my girls interact with me. I interact with Nadia now. Well. Now. I How interact many years was it? Well. I interact hey, with Nadia. Just a minute. Well. Just a minute. I don't Let not your mom know hear your what mom. Nadia wants from me. I try to give Nadia everything I have. Hey, listen, I'm gonna say this. Nadia can't put her demons on my mom. She walked out and did what I she did. wanted to I do at 14. Out. I so if you walk out, I did. you can't and stick I that on You can't stick that on my mom. And I look back. Can I can I say something? This, this is, can this, I say no. something? Can I say something? You know what? If you two don't want to get on, that's that's fine. But you need to know the damage it's doing. Let me. I'm going to talk to you separately, Nadia. You don't feel your mum treated you the same, okay? Whether that's true or whether it's not true, the thing is, you are now. An adult. I sure am. And I raise my kids. Okay, hang on, hang on. Just and I minute. raise my kids. And I take care of myself. Oh my Whatever the reason oh that I left home and don't get along with my mom, I take care of it hey, myself. You're missing the point. No, I'm not missing the point. I take care of my kids. Okay. All I want is for Nina to allow the kids to have a relationship. No. I don't want to talk to your kids if you don't want involved. me to talk to them. And I'm I don't good. have to talk to them. What do you want to say? Last can y'all, can you shut up? Yes. I'm over it. Shut up. You got your Stand result. Up. You yep. got what you wanted. You wanted to know. You wanted her to That's know. All, yep. Shut up. Thank you were an you. adult. Mom is grown. Yep. Mom's getting married. Yep. Move on. Okay. So what? We all have the same upbringing. Yep. Move on. Yep. Move on. something sometimes in life we have to all agree to disagree yes I'm cool with that. okay <laughs> maybe at this point you guys need to agree to disagree Mom, i was cool with that. okay you got your results I'm you cool. got your results yep. okay nobody slept with nobody's husband and yep. you know what i feel proud of that because you know something i raised you guys better than that mm -hmm. the whole thing about conflict resolution is about people wanting to resolve the conflict. I don't want to Here's, resolve it. No, exactly. They don't want to resolve it. They need, they need anger in order to validate themselves. Since you girls don't want to let this crap go, I want you to listen to me. I don't love you any differently. I don't love you any differently, okay? Here's what I want. Leave me out of all your crap. I love you, Mom.
You don't okay. need. You don't want to resolve this. That's fine. <clears throat> but I want you to remember how you feel at this very moment and do everything in your power not to let your children feel that because I don't. I suggest to you, That's it's not, not a nice feeling. feeling. No, it's not. No. But if you pass this on to your children by any snide remarks or anything like that, they will feel like this. And guess what? Their children will feel like this. And their it will go from generation to generation. Now, you don't have to like each other. You don't have to agree with each other. What you can learn to be is civil. I don't need someone in my life that lies and enjoys the drama and enjoys telling not telling the truth okay. about me. So I don't need that so in my life. So you want to walk away from that? I'm just done. Okay, be my guest. Thank you, Mom. I will call you tonight, Nikki, the same thing. Okay. Um, Nadia, you got what you want. You can't, you can't change what's in your sister's head. No, I can't. Uh, you can be very careful what you say to your children. Trust me, when they are adults, if they want to connect, they will connect. And, Mom, I guess you'll be there for the grandchildren. I'm trying. Well, you will need to be there for them. And what can I say? You've got what you wanted. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy to admit defeat because conflict resolution is about, as I said before, people want to resolve the conflict. If they don't, hey, we'll be back after this. Up next, the unbelievable update. Hi, Trisha, it's Nina. A special Trisha Uncut. A special Trisha Uncut. I never thought of what I Today on Trisha. Hi, Trisha, it's Nina. I'm happy to report that since the show, Nadia and I have been working on things. I'm happy that we were able to put this 15 year rumor behind us because it almost ruined our relationship. Nina's moved back to the Midwest, which has allowed us to work on our relationship even more. We've been also trying to do more things as a family, such as dinner time. We've been trying to get together just on a regular basis, just to talk and chit chat and spend time together. And, you know, little by little, try to repair our 15 year relationship that was damaged from this awful lie. It's crazy to think we allowed four years to go by without being able to give each other hugs and kisses. But thanks to you, Trisha, we'll be able to give each other a lot more hugs and kisses now. Right? Yep. Thanks for everything, Trisha. Bye. A special Trisha Uncut. I need a mother one thing. Today on Trisha. Okay, I'm gonna go and lie down in a quiet corner for a few minutes. Thank you for joining me today. Come back real soon. Bye-bye.